Hey guys, Leanne here from Kingdom Blogger. So today we are going to talk about how to get more traffic to your website, to your blog, from your social media channels. Now, many of us spend an innate amount of time, you know, publishing on Instagram and maybe you do TikTok or just constantly republishing your blog posts to Facebook or even Twitter, wherever you hang out. Unfortunately, all of that time spent there really doesn't translate into traffic back to your website. And so it's kind of like, what's the point in being over there and, and, and really spending so much time doing all that if you're not getting people back over to read your blog? Because ultimately, that's the goal. We want more traffic to our websites, right? So I'm going to give you three kind of tips um, on how to get your social followers over to your website so they hopefully will read a blog post or you know read something that's over there because if your goal is to eventually monetize via ads those sessions matter every session to your website is one step closer to reaching mediavine and then once you've reached it or ezoic or any of the other ones that you may join but all of those sessions the more sessions equals more income and so those sessions matter but more specifically more importantly if you're just spending hours upon hours creating videos and reels and social graphics and all these things for social media, what are you getting out of it, right? Oftentimes we just share that stuff and really nobody's even hearting it or liking it. Nobody's resharing it and nobody's commenting. And so I'm going to kind of give you some basic insight into why that's happening. Now, I am not a social media expert, but I am all about getting more traffic to my website um, no matter how that is. And I want it to be organic. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is understand that your, well, one, your ministry has to have a purpose, but so does your social channel, your social channel and what you do there needs to serve your readers, not you. In other words, if you're just sharing pictures and memes, Hey, new blog posts on, on the blog today, Go check it out. Like on Instagram, I've seen people do that. New blog post up today, or maybe they share that on Facebook or other places, wherever it is. People don't go to social channels to click through to read something else. Like they're going there to see stuff and, and whatever it is they're seeing really needs to pour into them and needs to serve their pain points. In other words, it needs to not be about you trying to get them, um, trying to show them, you know, look at me, look at me, do this because this is what I want you to do. You need to be serving them through your platform. A really good uh, example of this is let's say you're a Bible study kind of blogger and your goal is to help Christian women grow stronger in their faith. Well, you could share a daily meme with a verse, but you know, I mean, that's only going to go so far. People today need something that engages them. That's why those reels on Instagram are so popular. That's why Instagram really favors them. Um, TikTok is another thing with those videos where you're actually speaking and, and talking to people. And I know a lot of people are afraid of video, but honestly, if you're going to move forward in your ministry, you have to get over that. And so it can't just be, hey, look at this picture. You need to give them something, right? Give them Bible study tips, short little video, or even a written thing with little graphics that move that says, here's how I do this, or here's what this verse means or whatever, literally give them the tips. So number two, that leads me into number two. Number two is in order to get them over to your website, you can't just say, hey, subscribe to my link in the bio and read the newest blog post. Again, that's not what they're there for. If you want them to leave Instagram or leave TikTok, leave the channel that they're in and where they hang out, you need to give them a reason. And so again, if your ministry is Bible study, that link in your bio can get them over to some actual Bible study resources. Let's say you have a really good resource page, or maybe you have multiple resources, um, printable Bible study plans, reading plans, uh, Bible study worksheets, questions, um, coloring pages with scripture, you know, really anything, but it's tangible things that can help them in their Bible study. And this applies to no matter what niche you're in, but if you're going to send them over there, send them over to something that will actually help them. Again, it's about them. Don't send them over there and say, read the new blog post, right? Like that's not helping them. That's helping you. And so take the you out of it and get back to them, right? We need to serve our audience. All right. So how do we do that? That 
takes us into number three. So, you know, all of your social channels, um, you know, you have a bio section, you know, on Instagram, you can actually put your web address in there or a web address, a web address, and it'll hyperlink so they can click on it. And that's where we say link in bio. Um, on TikTok, you need a thousand followers and then you can convert it. Well, you can convert it to a business account before a thousand, but once you reach a thousand followers, then it enables you to actually insert your website link and make it clickable. You can put it in your bio, but it won't be clickable until you reach a thousand subscribers. Um, Facebook, you can add a button up in the top right corner and then link that to this page that I'm about to show you. So how do, what, what is the page we're going to create or what are we going to put there? Now, I know a lot of you have used Linktree. And that's a really great uh, tool because, you know, it has buttons and they click it and you can make it go to whatever. We'll make the whatever count for one. But I'm going to suggest that instead of using Linktree, a third party app, just use your blog. Create a page, uh, not a post, a page on your website and make it look how the Linktree little buttons look. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Share my screen. Okay, so here's my Instagram bio. And honestly, guys, I haven't even been active on Instagram in over a year. I literally just got back on it this past week. But I want to say before I show you the how, even in this last year of me literally not posting a single thing to Instagram, I still got a few monthly visitors from Instagram because of my link and bio link right? People would find me uh, because I'm kingdom bloggers. You know, a lot of people join our Facebook group and, you know, through my blog post or whatever, and they would follow me and they would click this and that got them over to my website. So your bio should literally say what you're for. What are you helping them with? Don't say just a girl who loves Jesus, sharing it with the world. Okay, that's cool. But if you want them to actually follow you, you got to serve their needs. So mine specifically says helping others to live in freedom in Christ. Get your free Bible study resources below. I'm literally saying, hey, you need some free Bible study resources. Hop over to the site and I have everything you need. Right. So and let me take a step back really quick. Again, I'm just getting reengaged with this. This used to be my feed. I didn't get a lot of likes. I mean, I got some likes, but really nobody ever commented. You know, these are pretty pictures. This was like the original Instagram where it's pretty pictures. That doesn't work. People need something to engage them. So I started doing these videos on TikTok and, you know, reels are a thing now. I'm just getting started. So again, I'm not the expert, but what I do know is what I am doing is sending traffic to my blog. So you know, if what you're doing now, if you're not getting, you're checking Google Analytics and you get zero traffic to your blog from Instagram, then you need to reevaluate the strategy that you're using. Okay, so I'm going to click on this link. Now, this literally goes to my website, not Linktree. Don't give Linktree the traffic. Send them to your website, right? Now, this looks a little different on a screen than it does on a phone, but on a phone, it optimizes and looks exactly like a link tree. These little buttons, Gutenberg makes it so easy to create these buttons, to make them whatever color you want. I even have, um, if you have a couple of affiliates that you regularly promote, especially for Bible study, put the little things in here. Now on mobile, they go right one up, uh, instead of next to each other, they're kind of like this. Um, now, I also have my subscribe. This is this is part of my media vine, but you could put an actual subscribe form. Don't just say, hey, to get the latest blog post, um, you know, join our email list. Now, I do say that here, but I'm also saying, hey, as well as Bible study tips and resources and free printables and more. So I'm saying, hey, if you want to get more free stuff, join my email list. Right. And so I get a lot of email subscribers from this page. There's other things you could put on here. Don't make it too long. Don't like put everything in its mother on here because people are on a phone, right? They're not here to read a book. Put the most important things that relate to the reason you sent them over here and make these little buttons. So mine, I have reading plans. I have worksheets, coloring pages, um, social media graphics, and phone screensavers, right? Simple. Again, the goal was to get them to my site. So they click through and read more things on my site. 
All of these things are free, downloadable, printable things. They do not have to subscribe to get any of the things that I'm giving here. So be mindful of that. Don't make your reader subscribe to get the goodies. Save those subscription goodies where it's like a bigger, better package if you subscribe, but give them some free stuff. The more free stuff you give, the more people are going to want to come to your site. So again, you can put this link in your Instagram bio and make it simple, right? Bloggersforthekingdom.com slash Instagram. Um, or slash social, like make it something super simple for you to remember. So once you, when you're creating it, before you hit publish, go over there and edit that slug to just be one word, Instagram, social media, TikTok. You could do one page for each social channel, but why? I mean, they're all going to link back to the same thing. So just make one page. I had done this one as Instagram before I even got on TikTok, but I'm going to use this same one for my TikTok channel right? So again, super, super easy. These are just blocks in Gutenberg. Get creative. Um, you can check out, you know, Ashley from Undoubted Grace has a really great one. Rachel from Healing Home has a really great one. Um, those are two off the top of my head that um, I'm familiar with, but um, there's more. But again, make your efforts count. Make your efforts fruitful. That way, the people coming to your social channel and following them, and those follow for follow uh, Facebook or threads that we do on Facebook, don't do those. Learn to use the right hashtags. Again, create engaging content for your social media channel, and people will start following you naturally. And to prove that, so I literally started my, uh, I started my TikTok for my gardening stuff about two or three weeks ago. And, you know, uh, I don't really share that. Hey, follow me. I mean, I do on my home, my like Leanne's Facebook. A few of my friends like to follow my crazy backyard antics. But because I learned about the hashtags and how to make funny videos and things like that. In less than three weeks, I've already reached almost 1500 subscribers. People actually leave comments to where I then reply to those comments. Um, and at the same time, I created an Instagram channel for the TikTok and I've already got a whole bunch of subscribers or followers there too. I am not asked, like I'm not doing these social follow threads. I want the people following me to follow me because what I offer like pique their interest. And that's kind of where you should take your social media. So stay away from the follow threads. Um, unless it's legitimately people's content is engaging to you, then follow them. But if it's a, you know, hey, everybody drop a link and follow everybody in the thread, don't do those, right? Like, because then you're going to get a feed of a lot of stuff that you don't even care about. And you would rather have your feed full of stuff that you're actually going to engage with. That way it also helps their engagement stats. So anyway, that's all. Um, serve your readers or serve your followers. Give them a reason to go to your blog and then create a really great um, Instagram bio page or social media bio page that optimizes for mobile devices to provide them all those goodies that you promised them. All right, guys, if you have any questions, drop a link uh, below and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.